Hello everyone, welcome to Rising Stars channel. Today's story is a story called Melissa's Story Living with HIV. Okay, now this story is supposed to um, show the impact of, of an illness on a child's daily life, how they cope and how they enjoy life. And this is a book series um, done for BBC. Now, there is another one called Jasper's Story, Living with Cystic Fibrosis. There's another one called Naomi's Story, Liv Living with Leukemia. Then there's Ben and Liz's Story, Living with Anaphylaxis. Then there's Summer's Story, Living with Epilepsy. And this is the one that we are reading today, Melissa's story, living with HIV. Okay. So you need to listen and look at the pictures, okay? My name is Melissa and I am HIV positive. I am in I am the middle child in my family. Growing up, it was just my mom. We didn't have a dad around. But I could always talk to my older sister and brother. I felt really happy as a child. I was told that I was HIV positive when I was 11. My, my mum, the doctor and my older sister were there. All I can remember thinking is my life is over, I'm going to die. The doctor said I wouldn't die but that I had to take medication from that point on every day for the rest of my life. That's Melissa, that's her older sister, that's her mom, and that's the doctor. And that's Melissa, and that's the doctor, and that's Melissa. We all have an immune system that keeps us healthy and alive. It fights off colds and other viruses. HIV is like an attacker of the immune system. It comes in and battles with the things that are trying to make you healthy. It's like a battle between the good and the bad. And HIV is the bad. If I take my medication, I'm helping my immune system. I'm fighting the bad army, which is HIV. AIDS is the result of not taking your medication and managing your HIV. Having AIDS means your body has lost the power to fight. The viruses and infections that attack you. The doctor explained that there are different ways of getting HIV. One way is through breastfeeding from the mother to the child. I assumed that I got HIV from my mom.
I thought that I couldn't tell people about HIV because my mum wasn't able to tell me. And I heard stories from my sister that someone had been bullied because they had HIV. So inside, I always felt like I was keeping a secret. I sometimes felt like I was wearing a mask and playing a character. I don't put on this face and be I'd put on this face and be brave and happy and smiley but inside I was actually feeling very small it was like a weight I was carrying around all the time I thought if I told my friends they wouldn't understand and I thought they wouldn't want to be my friends anymore. Taking my medication makes me feel sick. I never eat breakfast because I always throw up. I didn't really feel I didn't like feeling sick, so I decided to stop taking medic the medication. I just say, yeah, I've taken it. She was putting it down the sink. They said that it was, wait, I think I missed the page. Yes, I did. Then one day I was sitting down in class and I couldn't get up. My legs were really hurting me. I had to go to the hospital. That's the class. That's the ambulance. She's inside here. And that's the hospital. They said that I they said that it was arthritis in my leg and they had to operate on my knees. Because I wasn't taking my medication, my immune system was breaking down. I was getting weaker, but I didn't feel it until that happened. That's the doctor. There she is. And that's her after her operation on her knees. After the operation, I went to a place where I could meet other people who were HIV positive. That made me feel so much more comfortable in my skin because I knew that I wasn't alone. It gave me confidence. When I moved up to secondary school, I told two of my friends that I am HIV positive. At first, they didn't believe me because I just tell too many jokes. Then I showed them my medication and they said, wow, this is real. Then they said, okay, but you're still you. That made me feel a lot more confident about what I was dealing with. I know I'll always have to take medication, but I will also always have friends to support me.
we're nearly at the end of the story now. Oh, it's actually the end. So this part is for parents, okay? Our immune system defends us against invading germs such as bacteria and viruses. HIV stands for human immunodeficiency virus. It is a virus that attacks the immune system itself, making it weak. With medication, someone with HIV can lead a happy and productive life. If left untreated, HIV can result in many different health issues and may develop into AIDS. How do you get HIV? HIV is transmitted from one person to another through bodily fluids such as blood, breast milk, Okay, this is too much for this channel, so I'm not going to read it out, okay? But that is it, guys. I shall see you in the next video. Bye.